911, Dave and Police Fire Medical. Hello, hi, good morning. Um, uh, we were driving on SL46 and uh, I think we just saw somebody shoot someone. I'm not sure. Uh, we're just driving away. Uh, 46 and where? Uh, 46 and where? Before Ridge Road. Uh, 46 and where? And Ridge Road. And before Ridge Road. SR46 and before Ridge Road. Research. Ridge Road, yeah. Research. And it's very close. I, I, like the man's name? Uh, no, I don't know anything. No, I just... no, the street, 46 and what? Ridge Road, R-I-D-G-E. Ridge Wood? Ridge Road. Ridge R Road. Yeah. The yeah, it's uh, just after the Stanford Modelers and before the Ridge Road. Stanford Aer Aero Modelers. Okay, give me just one second. Did you hear the shot? Yeah, yeah, I think I heard the shot. You heard the shot, okay. Hang on just a second. But, uh, I mean, I'm not sure... Hang on just a second for me. Yeah. Seminole East Region, urgent call, 46 in Ridge Road, 46 in Ridge Road, and see if they... Before Ridge Road, yeah. ...complaint and thinks he just saw... Yeah, but let's say, yeah. ...any unit respond on 12 Charlie. Fire station, let's say, no, but that'll... Okay, where did you see this happen? Uh, before, uh, 40, uh, like, after the San Sanford Aero Modeler Club. After and the Sanford what? Aero Modeler Club, Aero Modeling Club. Hang on a second. He advised he thinks it was after the modeling club. Did you see a description of anyone? No, uh, it was a white man. Uh, the U-turn man, I had. Advice was a white male. Where can he meet with you? My officer wants to meet with you. Uh, we, we are almost at the, uh, Geneva right now. Where? I need uh, you to stop. Uh, we are at the Kangaroo Express. Uh, uh, this is one second, one second. Are you, you just stop, just stop here. They're telling us were to you, stop. Were you near the modeled airplane field? No, uh, we are now much after no, the... No, where uh, you saw it, where you saw it occur. Was it near the modeled uh, airplane field? Yeah, the modeling field, uh, just after that. It was after that. Stand by, I'm landline now trying to get further. You saw it by the model airplane field? Yeah. Yes, okay. And after where are that. you now? Uh, I'm at SR46 and, uh, there's a sit go at SR46 and, uh, and uh, what is this road? 426. He's at the Sitco at 46 and 426 at this time. What kind of car are you in? Uh, red, uh, uh, red Toyota Echo. He's at the Sitco at 46 and 426. You're in a what? A red what? A Toyota Echo. And you, the only thing he can provide is, is a white male. The white male was the subject or the person that you thought got shot? I mean, uh, uh, the person who was shooting. I'm, I'm not even sure it was a shot. I, I, was, I saw two people and then I saw somebody's arm come out and then a putt and then the other guy just fell down towards the back. So, so we were just driving past. It was really quick and then I just wanted to get out from there. Okay. The person you thought that got shot was the white male? Both were white. I, I don't know. I think it was might have been a white female also, but you I think didn't the see the person. You think the person that got shot was either a white male or a white female? Do you have clothing description? Yeah, but, 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 I think there was green pants on the white male. Four six eleven. Was there a white? Okay, so it was green pants on a white male. Yeah, I, I okay, think. Okay, was there a white pickup truck involved? I think so. Yeah. He thinks possibly there was a white pickup involved. And what's the, the female got shot or the male got shot? I think it was a... Okay, you're at the Sitco, right? What is your name? Uh... Okay, do you... And you're in a red vehicle? Yeah. That's... I'm checking I'm going to... Disconnect then. Okay, you're in contact yes. with our deputy. I'm disconnecting. Okay. So this all started at 6 o'clock this morning before the uh, shooting even occurred. That is when this investigation started because they say that Jeff Thomas, who used to be a detention deputy trainee here at the Seminole County Jail, was just let off work. Well, his girlfriend was on the way to pick him up, but she was very late. 
He was actually stopped for speeding 76 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. When a deputy was speaking with 37-year-old Melanie Lee, she was receiving phone calls on her cell phone uh, from Jeff Thomas. She did not answer at the time. After getting a ticket, Lee picked up her boyfriend, 45-year-old Jeff Thomas, a detention trainee at the Seminole County Jail. A witness says they saw the two on the side of busy State Road 46 arguing and then called 911. Jeff Thomas was holding what appeared to be a firearm and actually fired a shot. When deputies arrived, Melanie Lee, a sergeant with the State Department of Corrections, was dead. A chopper was called in. Deputies tried to get Thomas to drop the gun, but they say they were forced to open fire, critically injuring him. You can see right off of State Road 46 where this truck veered off. It looks as if it skidded a while before coming to a halt right on the side of this embankment. I've known him from the sheriff's office. Sheldon Cohn says he used to work with Melanie Lee and lived near the couple. Pretty much devastating for everybody around here because everybody knows him. While the Seminole County Sheriff's Office investigates the shooting, the FDLE is now investigating the deputies involved since they had to use their weapons. Uh, it'll take us probably close to a month or so um, before we'll, we'll be close to finalizing it. And right now, Jeff Thomas is at ORMC in critical condition. If he does recover and he's released from the hospital, then he will be brought right back here to the jail, except this time he will be an inmate in facing a murder charge. Reporting live in Seminole County, Craig Lucy, West, 2 News.